Proverbs 28, like most Proverbs, we're given a side-by-side -side comparison of a godly person and an ungodly person. And in that comparison, we can see the results of a life lived in Christ compared to a life lived in the flesh. Now, one reoccurring warning throughout the chapter is concerning greed. Later, it was Paul talking to Timothy that he said that the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And Proverbs 28 clearly illustrates that through comparison. Now, the overall message is clear. Our primary focus should be on pleasing God and loving and obeying His law. If our focus is on anything else, like making money, get-rich-quick schemes, prestige, or even trusting our own heart, you will easily fall into the trap of the enemy. Like the old hymn says, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. But to close, I'd like to leave you with the New Testament words from Paul on this issue of greed. But people who long to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many foolish and harmful desires that plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. But you, Timothy, are a man of God, so run from all these evil things. Pursue righteousness and a godly life, along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Mm -hmm.